assalamu alaikum dear students of class 11th how are you hope you are fine today we will start a new chapter of the text horn bill this is chapter number 7 the adventure uh, written by giant norlicker let me give you a brief introduction about the lesson the adventure dear students giant norlicker's the adventure combines science and fiction the misadventure that caused professor gendodi's unconsciousness has been explained on the basis of catastrophic theory or reality is never one sided but has many manifestations but the observer can see only one at a time the adventure written by jayant norlikar it is a science fiction story in which two theories the catastrophe theory and the lack of determ determinism in quantum theory are tried to be explained through an imaginary set of events which could uh have which would have occurred in the life of a professor of history if the result of battle more than 200 years earlier would have been different this was a brief introduction about the lesson the adventure now let us start this lesson the ji jamita express sped along the pune bombay route considerably considerably faster than the deccan queen the g jamata express sped along the pune bombay route considerably faster than the deccan queen there were no industrial townships outside pune the first stop lona wala came in 40 minutes the first stop luna wala came in 40 minutes the ghat section that followed was no different from what he knew the train stopped at kargot kargot only briefly and went on at an even greater speed it roared through kalyan meanwhile the racing mind of professors gentoda gentodi had arrived at a plan of action in bombay indeed as a historian he felt he should have thought of it sooner he would go to a big library and browse through history books that was the surest surest way of finding out how the present state of of affairs was reached he was planned eventually to return to pune and have a long talk with rajendra desh pandey who would surely help him understand what had happened that is assuming that in this world there existed someone called rajendra desh pandey the train stopped beyond the long tunnel the train stopped beyond the long tunnel it was a small station called sarhad and anglo indian in uniform went through the train checking permits this is first para of this chapter of this lesson the adventure here are some difficult words first word is townships means towns or villages another word is roared means to move at a high speed while making loud noise roared means to move at a high speed while making a loud noise and another word is permits means authorized to do something dear students let me explain these lines 
Here, Professor Agatondi was traveling by Jijamita Express train, which was running along, which was running along Pune Bombay route, and was faster than the Deccan Queen. The first start of the train was Lonawala, which came in 40 minutes. The professor noticed that there were no industrial towns outside Pune city. The next stop was the Ghaut section, which was similar to what professor already knew. The train followed to the next city, Karjot, and started speeding at a greater pace, greater pace than before. When the train was in Kalyan, it moved at high speed. The professor came up with a plan to be followed when he would arrive at Bombay city. The professor came up with a plan to be followed when he would arrive at Bombay city. He was a historian who thought he should have come up with a plan sooner to go to the big library and glance at the history books there. He wanted to know how the current situation of India by studying various events. He further planned to move back to Pune after his work finished and meet with Rajendra Deshpande to have a discussion over the current uh, events. He was thinking about it and assumed if a person named Rajendra Deshpande ex uh, uh, existed in this world as he was into his thoughts when the train stopped beyond a long tunnel in a place called Sarhad. He, wa he saw an Anglo-Indian in uniform who was going through the train to check the permit. Now next line is from the text. This is where the British Raj begins. You are going for the first time, I presume Khan Sahib asked it. Yes, the reply, the reply was factually correct. Gaga uh, Gadhar Pant had not been to this Bombay before. It is Ganga Dharpant. Ganga Dharpant had not been to this Bombay before. Yes, reply the fact this was the reply was factually correct. Ganga Dharpant had not been to this Bombay. Let me correct it. The name is Ganga Dharpant. The reply was factually correct. Ganga Dharpant had not been to this Bombay before. He ventured a question and Khan Sahib, how will you go to the shower? The train goes to the Victoria Terminus. I will take the Frontier Mail tonight out of Central. How far does it go? By what route? Bombay to Delhi, then to Lahore and then Peshawar. A long journey. I will reach Peshawar the day after tomorrow. Thereafter, Khan Sahib spoke a lot about his business, and Ganga Dharpant was a willing listener, for in that way he was able to get some flavor of, uh, of life in this India that was so different. The train now passed through the sub suburban rail traffic. Suburban Rail traffic, the bill you carried is carried the letter GBMR on the side. Here are some words in this para. Number first word is that is ventured. Mm. Ventured means to say something that might be considered as an apology. Ventured means to say something that might be considered as an apology. Now another word is suburban, suburban, suburban means residential area. Now let me explain these lines that says that as the incident was taking place, a person named Khan Sahib Oscar Gatundi if he was going to Bombay for the first time to which he replied yes. He asked Khan Sahib about how would he reach Peshawar. He told him the whole route. The train would first go to Victoria Terminus and then he would charge the he would change the train 
front rear mail from the central the train will then go to Delhi and then to Lahore and finally Peshawar it would be a long journey of two days Khan Sahib said further talked about his business to Ganga Darpant Gatondi professor who was listening to him willingly he got to taste a different flavor of the country other than what he saw and knew the train next passed through the residential rail traffic and he saw billu carriage with gpr on the side now um, nine is next lines from the text greater bombay metropolitan gb mr minus gb mr minus greater bombay metropolitan railway explained khan sahib see the tinny union jack painted on each carriage on each carriage a gentle uh, reminder uh, reminder that we are in british territory the train began to slow down beyond the other and stopped only at its destination victoria terminus the station looked remarkably neat and clean the stuff was mostly made of anglo indians and parsis along with a handful of british flowers officers as he emerged from the station ganga darpant found himself facing an imposing building the letters the letters on proclaimed its identity to those who do who did, who did not know this bombay landmark and east india house headquarters of the east india company east india headquarters of the east india company prepared as he was for many shocks professor gatundi had not been had not expected this the east india company had been had been wood up shortly after the events of 1857 at last at least that is what history books said yes here it was not only alive but flourishing so history had taken a different turn perhaps before 1857 how and when had happened it he had to find out that students in these and the students in these lines in this era there are some difficult words number first word is emerged 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 means developed or begin imposing means impressive proclaimed means to announce something officially flourishing means to grow successfully here in these lines khansab explained the full form of gpr means greater bombay metropolitan railways yahan pe khansab ne explain kiya a full form of gpr gbmr ka gbmr means greater bombay metropolitan railway he further showed him the tinny union jack painted on the carriages which was a mark for the re, uh, reminder that they were in british territory as the train moved past the other it stopped at the destination victoria terminus the station was neat and clean and the stop consisted of anglo indians and parsis with few british officers as the professor got down from the station he saw a big sign which read east india house headquarters of east india company which made the professor curious he did not expect this in bombay according to this knowledge according to his knowledge of history east india company was shut down after 1857 events but the company was standing there which was growing successfully he was confused as to how history took a run he had to know what happened <coughs> now as he walked along the as he walked along the hornby hornby road as it was called he found a different set of shops and office buildings there was no heirloom house building instead there were boots and woolworth departmental stores imposing offices of lollies 
Barclays and other British banks as in a typical high street of a town in England. He turned right along some street and entered Forbes building. I wish to meet Mr. Vinay. I wish to meet Mr. Vinay Gatundi, please, he said to the English receptionist. Receptionist, she searched through the telephone list, the staff list, and then through the directory of employees of all the branches of the firm. She shook her head and said, I am afraid I can't find anyone of that name either here on or in any one uh, or in any of our branches. Are you sure he works here? This was a bullo, not totally unexpected, if he himself were dead in in this world. What guarantee had he had he that his son would be alive? Indeed he may not even have been born. He thanked the girl politely and came out. It was characteristic of him characteristic of him not to worry about where he would stay. His main concern was to make his way to the library of the Asiatic Society to solve the riddle of the history. Grabbing a quick lunch at a restaurant, he made his way to the town hall. A riddle means mystery or puzzle. In these lines, writer says that, as the professor walked and uh, passed the horn by road in Bombay, he noticed a different set of shops in the street. There were no longer handloom house building but wire booths and Woolworth departmental stores and offices of Lollied, uh, Lollied's, Barclays and other British originated banks. It was just like a high street in England. He entered the Forbes building in the home street. He asked the receptionist, uh, receptionists about Mr. Winning Gendodi. She searched for some time all the telephone list and the stop list but did not find anything. She told him that there is no such person working in any branch of the company. He was shocked and did not expect this. Professor was shocked. He was thinking about what would happen if would if he would not be allowed in this world. He moved out of the building and went to a restaurant to eat lunch. He then went to town hall. Thank you very much.